if somebody told you that conceptually a hydraulic union coupling with ferrule or a compression coupling see we so frequently use on copper pipes and ac and refrigeration or propeller and muff coupling are all the same maybe you will be shocked i'm sure or maybe you will disbelieve while well, it is true yes very much they all work on the same principle also in this video we we'll look at the construction and concept of a muff coupling as promised in the previous video you're all watching chief engineer's tea time talk and ramesh your friendly pilot who will guide you through this channel if you are not yet subscribed quickly do so before we dive into this topic continue watching hope you'll find it useful okay stand by engines here we go let's go ahead here you can see the very familiar union which we frequently use in copper pipes and uh, aircon and fridge how do we fit it here we have the ferrule which we first slide into the union nut and then we slide the nut and then we start tightening that's it we get a leak proof uh, connection so what is the principle let's have a very close look here we slide the ferrule and then start tightening the nut to push the ferrule into the union as we continue to tighten the nut the ferrule is forced inside the union which starts compressing the ferrule to form a tight leak proof joint here we see a almost similar thing while we push up a propeller as we start uh, operating the jack the propeller boss moves forward on the propeller shaft and then we stop it at the required distance and our goal is achieved If you want to get into the finer details of uh, propeller fitment, uh, please go through the detailed video uploaded earlier, where we have described about wet fit, dry fit, procedure, etc. Anyway, what do you think was in common between the propeller fitment and the brass union with the ferrule which we just tightened? I think you must have got it by now. In both the cases, we are forcing a tapered surface to ride up or ride inside a corresponding tapered surface. the end result being that we create a interference fit in the case of the union coupling the interference fit gave us a leak proof joint but in the case of the propeller the interference fit gives us an opportunity to transmit torques due to the frictional forces developed of course you can also see this technique of uh, creating a interference fit using uh, two tapered surfaces riding upon each other during fitment of rotary vane rotor to rudder stock Now, why this tapered surface? Why not create interference fits with parallel surfaces? Of course, we can. But then remember, we need to heat one component or cool some component to create the interference fit. Also, we again need to heat and cool the components for dismounting as well. And well, <laughs> we all know that we cannot possibly keep the propeller shaft in the meat room or keep the propeller inside a furnace. to heat and cool the respective components also dismantling of the interference fit using tapered surfaces is instantaneous and easy all we need to do is to pump the oil between the two surfaces now let's finish our task with understanding the construction of the muff coupling as we had discussed in the previous video here we can see that the inner sleeve is being brought into position now let's position the outer sleeve into position note that the tapered surface in the inner and outer sleeves which will eventually ride on each other now we install the seating ring to prevent the push up hydraulic oil from leaking here now we are going to tighten the nut the amount and purpose of tightening should be enough uh, to contain the hydraulic oil from leaking out now we can start pumping in the hydraulic oil we can see that the outer sleeve is pushed and made to ride against the taper of the inner sleeve now what has happened is that the inner sleeve has been shrink fit or rather a interference fit between the shafts inner sleeve and outer sleeve thereby generating enough forces of friction which are good enough to transmit the desired amount of expected torque the torque uh, transmission capability is as expected is of course dependent on the amount of push up as we had seen in the propeller now let's see the dismounting all we need to do is loosen the nut pump in the oil and you can see that the sleeve simply 
slip apart, making the removal of the tail shaft possible from stern. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Thank you.